All right, the Reds. How are we? Champ well, I was going to say Champions League. We're not in that. We've had Champions League football all this weekend. Hope you're all well and good. Obviously, Liverpool in the quarterfinals. Looking to, obviously, get all the way to Dublin. But, obviously, the Italian side is in our way. And, obviously, Liverpool playing home. Reds, let me know your thoughts on the starting eleven. Your score predictions as well in the comments. And if you are watching live or on the repeat... Do let us know your thoughts on the game as well. You're absolute bloody legends. Uh, for Liverpool, start 11, as you can see there, Kelleher, Gomez, Canate, obviously Virgil van Dijk, Costa Simicus, Endo, McAllister, Jones, Elliot, Nunes and Cody Gakpo as well, Reds. And it's not looking too bad. I'm excited for this game, Reds. Obviously, would have liked, all of us would have liked to have seen Liverpool in the Champions League this season. But we've got... Got to give it an hard all in this competition, if, if I'm being honest. But it won't be an easy, straightforward game. I do not anticipate that anyway, Reds. But hope you're all well. Let me know the, how are we panel with absolute legends. Every single one of you. Get your thoughts in the comment section below as well. Um, I'm just hoping Liverpool can get this. Get a bit of a lead, especially going into that second leg anyway. Would be very helpful in terms of our Premier League campaign as well. For Atalanta... Obviously, their start 11 is uh, Musso, Zappacosta, Tietzi, uh, Kine, Edison, Regeri, Darum, Palisic, Cooper Miners, Skamaka, and uh, De Kellia as well, the Belgium player that did get signed for big money against AC Milan last season, but didn't quite work out. But Liverpool are underway in as well, Reds. Liverpool are underway. Liverpool will be kicking towards the Annie Road end first half. But uh, obviously, all had a good week, everyone. Reds, obviously, we've got plenty of live streams coming up this week as well. Obviously, the post match for this game will very much follow. So, fingers crossed, Liverpool can get this game over the line. Yeah, big up there, panel. Same, same, same. Interesting that we have some. Obviously, a couple of the main lads as well on the bench. Obviously, we've got Diaz, Jota's back as well. Salah, Sabuzlai on the on the bench, which is absolutely phenomenal work for us, in all honesty, in terms of not just thinking about tonight, but thinking long-term about our aspirations in the Premier League as well. Obviously, Gravenberch, Bacetic as well, back on the Liverpool bench, which is fantastic work. Liverpool going forward now. Cody Gakpo. Put all down. Straight down the middle. Lovely ball to find Darwin Nunes. Oh, couldn't quite get his feet sorted there, Darwin. Much better, Liverpool. First real bit of good movement from Liverpool. Big up there, Paul. How are we, mate? Absolute legend, mate. Hope you've all had a good weekend, chat anyway. Absolute legends. But yeah, now it's a good little initial ball by Cody Gapo through the middle. Obviously, it's, it's, I'm made up to actually see the, this forward three. Obviously, Elliot is playing in that Salah role down the right hand side, but obviously, Elliot deserves his, his, his opportunity this week because I think when he has come on in the last couple of weeks, he's really shone and give it his all, really. Probably being Liverpool's most important substitution off the bench this year. Alongside probably like likes of Darwin Nunes and obviously Joss, we just desperately need him back, don't we? Which is obvious. Missed him against United in those both games anyway. Big up there, Wiggs. Not too bad, Wiggs. I hope you're all well. That's the main thing anyway. Appreciate you all tuning in. Um, probably rested, Paul, in all honesty. Uh, and they're in here, Atalanta. It was a poor ball by Skamaka. And they're in! I Oh, no, how's he missed? Palace hits the Croatian attacking midfielder. I'd say what, there was a mix-up at the back and it looked like Kelly took a bit... It looked like a foul in the initial build-up, but even still. Oh, what a save. It's not a miss, chat. What a save, Kelly. That's save of the season from Kelly, from us. I thought he sliced it wide with the camera angle. Kelly has took, took a big massive whack to the chops there by the, with the ball. 
it's like a five aside, one of them, innit? We just get absolutely levered in the face. But I tell you what, you got to be careful. Another pool, but ball in. But what an opportunity for Atalanta in the early stages of this game. Ball cleared now by Liverpool. Handball. Liverpool carry on. The referees give a very good advantage. It's found Darwin Nunes down the left-hand side. Needs to get his head up, Darwin. Broke into the penalty area. He shot. It's uh, gathered very well by the goalkeeper. I tell you what, that's an excellent save by Musso. But very good advantage by the referee there. Yet again, another great opportunity to Liverpool to break the line. But yeah, Paul, I think mainly precautionary, Paul. Obviously, I think the last couple of weeks he's not been playing at his maximum level. Obviously, um, and Elliot, in my own opinion, mates, don't know you feel or chat. Speaking of Elliot, deserves his opportunity. Need to get his head up, Elliot. He's, he has done. Oh, it's a great pick out as well. McAllister just breaking into the penalty area there. It was a lovely little ball by Elliot. It's just leading back there, the Argentinian, just a bit too much. Only about five, ten yards over. But I'll tell you what, what a save by Kelly there, chat. Got to be cautionary, obviously, with uh, concussions, obviously any head injuries in football. Surprised the medical department didn't actually come on, like, to the check. That's it. For me, that's save of the season so far from, from the Irish goalkeeper. I think Allison would be proud of that if he'd done that. Yeah, Jotter and Trent come off the bench in the running will be, yeah, 100%, mate, 100%. Yeah, get into these. <laughs> Smash a like as well, Reds. I know you do, but if anyone's just tuning in, hit that subscribe button as well on the road to 6,000 subscribers as well. Obviously, on the road to 15 on Facebook as well, which is all well and good. And if you do have TikTok or YouTube shorts, we are on there as well. Obviously, last time Atalanta did turn up to Liverpool was obviously in the COVID year. Obviously, with a 2 0 win that season. Jones. Going to get another opportunity here tonight to sh showcase his qualities on the ball. Big up there, Storm. Hope you're well, mate. I don't see more than. <laughs> yeah, he will do, Paul. He will do. Yeah, Ali versus Newcastle was my save of the season. Oh, yeah, true. Big shout out there, lad. It's a phenomenal save, that as well. And even the, the save against. Ball in. Oh, I'm lucky there, Simi. Bit, but, bit too much of a deep cross, that. But um, in terms of... Uh, do you remember the um, Allison save last season against Real Madrid, Chas? Was it the Bernabeu in the second leg? Somehow, I don't know how he saved it. Ridiculous save. That's probably one of my favourite Ali saves. Alongside, obviously, the Napoli save. But I think that... Save last year against Real Madrid for Ali was probably up there for me for one of my favourite Allison saves. And that's certainly my best Kelly save I've seen so far in his Liverpool career. But yeah, Liverpool started well, Reds, if you're just tuning in. Um, obviously, Darwin Nunes, Atalanta should have really been 1 0 up. Um, but Palasic, really, the Croatian attacker midfielder, who was probably one of their star players to keep an eye on tonight, chat. A player that likes the balls in those tight spaces and around the penalty area. That's where he does thrive. And uh, it's a good, I'll tell you what, this refs, I don't want to, don't want to jinx it really, but seven minutes in and the refs had a very good start. It's a breath of fresh air when you are playing in Europe, any competition for that matter. A little break from obviously the uh, Premier League referee nonsense that we do have. And I don't know if you watched the year, uh, was it last night's game, Reds? Obviously, the um, the English refs were having an absolute nightmare. But they were taking, like, five seconds to make the decisions. So, I think it's different when they're, like, obviously European refereeing licences on the line. But, 
He made him quick. McAllister ball in. Cleared. It's going to be a Musa collecting that. Is he hadn't he had seen in goalie? Yeah, yeah. Of course he was. Not the answer. Yeah, we were lucky to have Kelly Jack with Ali being out for so long. Imagine we had Adrian through there, pan of. But uh, what's, what's your expectations, really, Reds, in terms of next season? Uh, it's been a. Um, we've had very much. Uh, we spoke about it last 12 months, haven't we? It's going to be difficult for Liverpool to keep hold of Kelleher, especially if a couple of big money moves do come in. I think he himself, for his, he'd like to, I think, sorry, they're chatting with me. It's Coop Miners, obviously former Dutch colleague as well, not former, current Dutch colleague. But yeah, it's going to be difficult for the Reds in it to keep holding. If a big money move, obviously for the Irish national team spot as well, was it their coach come out and said he needs to be playing first team football or something? So it's gonna be difficult, especially if he is guaranteed first team football for like a Premier League team or another top elite European side as well. I think, don't think any of us would be him really if he was to leave. But maybe put a buyback clause in Calais contract, maybe. It's gonna be one of them. Be disappointing. It, it it certainly weakens his chat. That's what we've said over the last twelve months, haven't we? Six around, I'm just kind of uh, big up there, Everest. How are we, mate? Yeah, Sally is on the bench. Uh, Trent, Trent, and um, should be uh, is he on the bench tonight? Yeah, Trent's on the bench, Everest, for anyone just tuning in, coming in from work or whatnot. So, uh, Salah's on the bench, Trent's on the bench, Joss is on the bench, I am um, Bobby Clark's on the bench, Bachetic is on the bench, which is great. Uh, Sabozlai and Andy Robbo is on the bench, so. Obviously, the players that we are missing, obviously, the big one is obviously Allison. Obviously, we're still missing Matip, Thiago, and Ben Doak as well. Um, Costas just got to go whack to the face. So, we are here 10 minutes, 45 seconds into the game here, Reds. We are tuning in. So, we've played 10 minutes. I mean, it's been a very quick, fast start, really, for the Reds. It's exactly what we want. Yeah, 100% there. Uh, Yeah, apparently the league is getting the same sort of offside technology. Yeah, Wigs, we said and, and, and Reds, haven't we? We said that for the last beginning of the year. I always said, why are they not integrating it? it like, because it works. I think when we were doing the World Cup watch alongs, it works so well. Like, the technology, it was absolutely ridiculous that the Premier League didn't take it upon themselves to implement the technology. It just made no sense. Coop Miners. Going forward here, he's got an overlapping opportunity down the right-hand side. To Ketela. I'll tell you what, good minus. Oh, what a ball. i tell you what, good little play at him, isn't he? The Dutch lad in the middle. Uh, under Grinch of Arms. Yeah, 100% weeks. Liverpool going forward now. Looks like he's in <coughs> offside position. Nunes just about offside there. Uh, not too sure, Paul. Was it chap? How much was it in the in the summer? I think it wasn't a lot. I think it was only like 50, 10, 15 million or something. Yeah, as Wig said, there we could easily get 30 to 35 million. Big up there, Carl. Hope you're well, mate. We've had a good week. Every single one of you. Exactly what, yeah. 100%. Um, strong bench. Sorry, bro. It is. The kettle are. Obviously, the big Belgium. He's a big. Big boy, him. Good, easy. I think he's like 6'3, six, 6'4. Six, Obviously, the former AC Milan player. He was signed for big money for AC Milan, but didn't quite work out. I think he did get a full transfer to Atalanta this summer. I tell you what, Atalanta, they're growing a bit more on, in, in terms of confidence on the ball here. Chat, I said at the top of the show, it's not going to be an easy game <coughs> for Liverpool. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, chat. 
big up there, Carl. Big up Paul as well. Big up all yous. That'll be the end of the year. They're saying, Jack. 100% right. Fingers crossed. All right, Carl. Up. How are we, mate? Uh, we need to be careful. Or we're going to... Yeah. Uh, Carl, or oh, for anyone that wants to sync up, we are on 13 minutes, 32 seconds. So I'll count down the seconds if you want to pause or rewind. So... 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So, approaching the 14th minute, 55, 56 seconds, 57, 58, 59, 60. 14 minutes on the bang there, chat, so we're going to try to sync it up a bit more easier. Yeah, big up there, Everest. Yeah, I wanted to try something different, mate, this, for this live stream. Obviously, um, I'll try and get that sort of miss. It's not, I can tell it's not the usual setup. But I uh, just wanted to test it out early on StreamYard. <clears throat> we had... I'll get that sorted for the Everest for the next game, mate. Hundred percent. <clears throat> Jones, lovely ball to find Nunes one v one. Is he saved that? What a ball by Curtis Jones, straight through the heart of that Atalanta defence. Why is Nunes not round with the goalie there? What a ball. Just round him, Nunes. I just don't get him sometimes. I love the lad. We all love him, but that's shocking by Darwin. Needs to be dragging that ball around the goalkeeper and just slotting it comfortably there, really. I expected that just to fly in or, like, curl around the goalkeeper, but should be doing better than that. 100% there, Paul. 100%. He offers that bit of Alexis McAllister about his game as well. And McAllister not un unhappy with the air to lie, no. I'll behave to him. Oh, that's never a foul. It's a foul for Atalanta anyway, but no. It's looking at Nunes' chance there. Just needs to take that to his left. Just drop the shoulder and then just take a pass because the keeper was running out there for Darwin Nunes. Majeri, ball in, collected by Keller. Ball forward now. Oh, Cody. Not the best selection there, really, from him. Lovely work there. Enzo, lovely little play. Edge of the penalty area. Cozy release it, lad. Bit quicker there, mate. Simicus. Nunes. Bit of space down Liverpool's right-hand side there. Nice, Carl, it was. Hmm. It's frustrating, though, Wiggs, when you do see that, mate. For all of us, even for himself, Nunes, I just don't quite understand them sometimes. And it must be difficult for his teammates as well. Like, you don't, he's so un, unpredictable. Like, you can't predict his movements, really. They pull a quick free kick. I tell you what, this ref's absolutely fantastic. Still on Liverpool and Atalanta as well, just to play that quick football. He's not slowing the game down. It's a poor ball forward there for Liverpool. Unlucky there, Curtis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, again. <laughs> but the camera should just pan to Jota for about 20 minutes because we have missed him and Trent on the penalty area. Aston Villa winning 1 0 at home against Leo. Ollie Watkins, who else is going to be scoring their goals? 
Yeah, if you can uh, please refrain from obviously just um, uh, just type in English in the chat. Uh, if you can, please. My apologies. Obviously, I don't know what you've said in the comments, so we much appreciate it. Yeah, as Wix has said there. Uh, yeah, love the lab, but never see Torres foul or yeah, one percent there works. Just I love it. Yeah, so he's on the bench. It's a good thing. The, whatever happens tonight, the main thing is obviously our bench. It's back. It's back. The only big player that we are missing is, of course, Ali. But I don't think we're missing him at the minute, the way Kelly is playing over the last couple of months, which is amazing. Yeah. It does, Paul. That's the main thing, mate, isn't it? So you've got to be careful and transition here, Liverpool, tonight. But well, certainly, Atalanta are a side that love to score goals, especially under Gasparini. Anyway, you're a very talented coach, Gasparini. Works with quite a very limited budget in <coughs> in Syria. I think some at least. A bit like Jürgen in terms of his, obviously not won titles at Atalanta. But he's a manager that outperforms what he's got in his team. And I think that's what you've got to do best, really, as a coach. So one to keep an eye on, chat. He'll probably go to a bigger club, in, especially a bigger Italian club. I anticipate that in a couple of seasons. I definitely might struggle if a bigger Italian team comes in for him. Yeah, but we need two wigs uh, in chat, innit? Because it's like that, like that United game, well, the two United games, and even this season, it's, it's crunch time, really, in the Premier League and even in Europe as well now. It's a quarter final. I'm sorry, Nunes, or anyone for that matter, in a Liverpool share tonight, given that opportunity Nunes did have, he needs to be better in that. Again, forward ball to Nunes. We haven't got Andy Carroll up front, mate. Just sloppy decision making. Sometimes so nice. Uh, not the minute storm. I'll check out, mate, because it's really impressed me. Let's have a quick look. He's having a word with one of the uh, here. Oh, Turkey. Malay here. Uh, Turkey. Turkish ref there. Obviously, sad to see what's happened with, obviously, Turkish football. We'll see the, the corruption scandals and, obviously, everything. If you missed it this week, it was a Galatasaray and um, Fenerbahce, I think it was. Fenerbahce played all the under-21s in a cup final. And then, as soon as... I think you more or less... He conceded, and then he just walked off the pitch. Fenerbahce, which is amazing, just for what they were standing up for, really, in terms of the... I think it was to do with corruption or something to do in the Turkish League, anyway. But uh, it takes a lot, really, in all, in all honesty, for a team, especially in a final. To imagine Liverpool went 1-0 down. And just let the opposition score and then just walked off the pitch in Wembley. It's just mad. Big up there, Tony. Big up there, too. Aye. Bit rusty. Uh, a couple of the Liverpool players, but I think that's a bit expected because obviously Elliot's come off the bench most of the time this season. Simicus. But uh, I think just uh, in, in the general terms for all of us, I. I'm surprised that we haven't at least started with Robbo, Trent even. Yet again, Liverpool going long. But hope oh, you had a good week, Toe. Hmm. High risk football that we play, Carl, isn't it? Ball over the top. I'll tell you what, he's onside, dude. He... Ebu, he's read that well. Costas, good little first time football. Lovely play by Liverpool. Can we play out now? Lovely little switch by Curtis. Can Harvey... Oh, lucky there, Harvey. 
Fox needs to bring that down a bit more quicker there. Yeah, we do. We do, Wigs. I think we'd all agree on that. We need to play us a step up when it counts, especially in the crunch times this season. Sal also needs to up his game. He does, mate. He does. <laughs> Everest. Remember that goal he scored against City? It's that year when we had, obviously, Craig Bellamy and the boys. Like, he scored against City. Was it the 3-1 win? And he just banged it from the edge of the penalty. And we're like, oh. Don't we all thought, oh. But the rest is history. Highlight of Carol's career was going to that boys' own concert with uh, Rodgers. That must have sealed the deal. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, mad times. They were. Good to hear, Tio. Good to hear. Nice one, Ricks. Doing my job. <laughs> Nunes forward here now. Breaking into the... Is that going to be a penalty? Is it going to... Oh, I'll tell you what. He's unlucky there, Darwin Nunes, that he couldn't quite have got that penalty there. So let's have a little look at this replay. Yeah, contact was just outside the penalty area, but that is much better from Darwin. Coming off that left-hand side channel. So it'd be interesting with whoever does come in as the new coach next season, chat, where they play Nunes. Because I think every time we've seen Nunes, he looks so much more natural coming off that left wing. Or like left, left centre forward position. Or left forward, whatever you want to call it. Left of the penalty area. <laughs> but uh, yeah, or do you play him down the middle? So a free kick just outside the penalty area there, Reds. Mac is standing over it. Costas. Say what, well, I'm Mac and I'm shooting here. Costas. To Elliot on the rebound. Harvey Elliot! Oh, how's that not gone in? It hit the bar and then it hit the post. Nah, no way. Let's have a little look at this replay. I swear that it's the bar and then the post. Oh, no, like, that is so unfortunate for Liverpool. I don't think I've ever seen that shot. It was a weird it had Kale on it and it had everything nearly, but. Just wouldn't quite fall in the back of the net there. What a what an effort by Harvey. That's something I wish Salah would do a bit more. Well, Harvey, as we know, he's got that quality to whip that ball in to the top corner. Unlucky there by Harvey. Yeah, he did, Carl. It was a mad time for the football club, for all of us. Yes. That's the thing, like, we... <laughs> we we went through, like, the windmill, really, in terms of, like, pre and Klopp. I think we could all probably... Do you remember that picture that still haunts me to this day when I was young, so I remember it? We signed, was it Joe Cole, Jovanovic? Dan, was it Danny Wilson? And someone else, was it? You'd swear those were the type of players that we'd play with this season. The way people act on social media. But look at that. It's just unlucky, Harvey. That's not, not just hit the, the bar the bar and just dropped in. So, oh, unlucky there, that's... Oh, was it Wilson Koncheski? Oh, bloody hell. Don't get me started on Koncheski. Big up there, Everest. A massive thank you, mate, as always. And for anyone just popping in, Everest, have a lovely rest of your day, mate. And hopefully Liverpool have won this game tonight. And we take a bit more of it, a, a good, solid lead going into the second leg. Because it won't be easy going away. Especially to Antalanta as well. Yes, Kaczewski, don't. That interview he gave after leaving Liverpool, what on that? Oh, no. 
Did Kincheski's Ma come out with the interview when he signed? Nunes. Oh, what a ball. Ball to the back stick. Jones. Oh, he's just tried to kill it. Kill it top corner anyway. Unlucky there, Curtis, lad. Good little play there by Liverpool. Yeah, 100% so. Both teams, the way, uh, if you've not seen a lot of Atalanta, they are very exciting to watch in Syria. Obviously, I think the Roma are beaten. I tell you what, Roma are beating AC Milan away from home in the first leg. Benfica are winning 1 0 against Marseille. Obviously, that's the team. If Liverpool are to progress, we will be playing either Benfica or Marseille in the semi final. I think Atalanta are six in the Serie A so far. Yeah, the six. They are eight points off a top four space. S spot. Space. Um, With a game in hand, anyway. So if they win their game in hand, they'll obviously be five points off. But uh, even go and check out um, Roma chat. Obviously, Daniel De Rossi, obviously, Roma legend. Did take over midway a couple of months ago. And they've been on such a tremendous run, not just in Europe, but of course in the um, City. A. It's really got them in the mix for a, a potential Champions League spot as well, which when he took over, it seemed like, see, Jose Mourinho, exit, Roma manager. Good ball here. Go on, Ebu, carry that. Oh, that's Paul, I love a pool. Ebu's got the ball there. and. It's just such a slow, lethargic performance so far from Liverpool to thank Reds. 30 minutes on the clock. No, it wasn't Wiggs, I'm pretty sure. No, Kuncheski was Roy, Roy Hodgson era. Oh, unlucky there. Costas at least apologised, lad. He just stood on his ankle. Has he been booked? Has he? Actually, I take that back, Costas. He did catch him, but no studs were involved. Did he get a yellow card? Tell you what, TNT don't half help themselves. It's worse when they're showing replays. Even the Champions League football this week. Like these TV companies are showing highlights on a counter attack. I'm like, what are you doing? Gakpo, that's better. Go on. Oh, lovely ball. What a ball that would have been. Just about five yards ahead of Harvey Elliott. Gakpo done that. That's what he does so well. Got the defender and the ball. It just swiveled, created that space, but. So frustrating. Unlucky there, Cody. Yeah, we need a goal, Carl. Sharp, we do. 14 minutes left to go in this first half. Go forward now. Ball over the top. Long ball by Atalanta. Into Ebu. Oh, I'm lucky there, Reds. Atalanta going forward now. Down that right hand side. Was he Zappa Costa, the ex Chelsea man? I think he went to Inter Milan post Chelsea. Ball forward, Cody. Oh, it's so frustrating, man. That ball needs to be in. It's so poor by Cody Gakpo there. It's it's release him quicker, man. And now Atalanta on the counter attack now from that resulting loss of possession by Liverpool. Jerry going forward. Rachel. It's a kettle art. The lands of the Giants between them two. He is Tony. 
just goes to show how like Atalanta the 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 they play for the back obviously with like wing backs really but uh, they aren't afraid Atalanta to mix it with the big boys I think Jossa Jossa warming up what a sight to see Reds <clears throat> oh, his name is Diogo. That's better, Nunes. Go on. Unlucky lad. Just couldn't quite get that ball back from Mache. Is that a foul? I was going to be offside anyway for Liverpool. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video as well. Big game in the Premier League on Saturday. Newcastle versus Tottenham. Tottenham in the chase for a Champions League spot anyway. Ibu going forward now. Needs a bit of support here. He the centre half. He had no options there, Ibu. It was a good initial burst into the space, got in behind Atalanta's midfield, and then nearly no one shown for the ball, so we had to go all the way back. So all that ground, which he did make up. He's got 10 minutes left in his first half. I'm on Liverpool. Ball forward now, Liverpool now so sloppy in the centre of the park here. And both managers will be very disappointed. With a lack of possession, really. Lack of control. Going forward now. Obviously, Liverpool got Palace on the weekend. Chas, he's uh, he's looking forward to that. It's not going to be an easy game again. All the games that we've got now, and obviously, as oh, this week, literally Everton got done again for another points deduction, which is mad. So when we play them in that derby, it's going to be absolutely mental. To say the least, anyway. So both teams going for something completely different. Everton fighting for survival, and I think Forrest got did Forrest get done again today, Reds? Bit of a mad one. Surely I'll be offside there, line up. Thank you. Yeah, as Carl said. Yeah, it's gonna be mad, Carl. But the good thing. Go on, Nunes. Get it under control, lads. Nunes. What a ball. I've said that. Well read by Skamaka. Looks like handball. Referee said play on. Yeah, it's good advantage by the ref. It's, it's, it's only going to be one of them, Carl, but the good advantage if you missed it this week. And the Premier League did announce that they will continue to give out the, the points deductions. So any teams awaiting, obviously the um, the trials for their potential um, FFP will be met with the same. Oh, it's one 0 Atalanta. Skamaka, how's that squeaked in there? Good movement by Skamaka, but I'm sorry that ball should not be going in the back of the net. It'd be interesting to see it took a deflection, but even still. Shocking defending by Liverpool. Far too easy. For me, Calais needs to be doing better than that. But even still, when that ball's in that wide area, Liverpool need to be doing much better than that. Absolutely horrendous. 
good little build up down the right hand channel for the Italians. There's no pressure at all from Virgil van Dijk. And yeah, just simple as you like. Oh, Kelleher. Oh, Kelleher. But even still, that ball should not be getting allowed to be crossed with any pressure on the ball at all. Just poor by Liverpool. Liverpool should, yet again, like it was against United the last couple of weeks, should have at least one goal on the board. But sloppiness from Liverpool in, was he? He's got four goals and seven Europa League appearances. It is, it is Panov. Yeah, he got absolutely done in there, Tony. Then he down that left hand channel. That was a good initial ball by Atalanta, but we just allowed him the freedom of down that left, down our left hand side. And now, if you're Atalanta, it wouldn't surprise me if you just play a bit more higher up the pitch, really. I'll tell you what, we're at, we're at six and seven so far. Liverpool, we're, we're chasing shadows, really. It's almost like we're playing in first gear. Jones. That's poor by Curtis Jones. What are we doing? I haven't seen us this poor in absolute months. Oh, Kelleher. What are we doing? Ibu going forward now. Breaking the line. Ball to find Gomez. Ball down the right. Elliot. Ball in. Deep ball into the penalty area. It's absolutely gone nowhere. Five minutes left in this first half and Liverpool. It's probably, I'd, I'd say it's up there with one of our worst 40 minutes showings this season. And you can see from the Atalanta players, their reaction, they're absolutely utter shock. Really. I think even their fans have probably harassed them. Surprised by how the lack of quality really shown by Liverpool so far. It's a thing, mate. We're all at six and sevens. Come on, Reds. So poor. Come on, Liverpool. Wake up. Liverpool now breaking down the right-hand channel. Can Liverpool get the right passes going? Jones overhit by Elliot. It's the right idea, but lacks lack the execution on the pass forward there. Poor again, Cody lads. Serendous. Wouldn't even see that down Stanley Park, mate. That passing. Up there, lad. Yeah, big up there, lads. Yeah, it's disappointing showing. But, eh. Uh, you gotta got to applaud Atalanta. You come to Anfield and not rolled over, really. But Liverpool just letting the Italian side do play football. And yet again, that's another poor ball by Endo. It's going to be a corner. Like, just that transition there. Liverpool on the halfway line. Endo, simple ball to Gomez. Over it's the ball, five yards. And then Atalanta going... Break and get a corner from absolutely nothing. It's just frankly not good enough. Cooper Nyers to take this corner. I 
Ball in, clear by Liverpool, but I don't think we'll have any opportunity. Yep, there's no one up front there, so any potential break. That's all on set. I'll tell you what, I need to check if Luckman is on the bench for Atalanta because if he's to come on this second half, he's going to absolutely destroy us. Yeah. Luckman is on the bench. And when we speak about Luckman, it's not the, it is the lad from Everton, the ex Everton player, but he has transformed his game since he's gone to, obviously, the City. Yeah. He's really improved. One of their star men for Atalanta. Simicus there. Poor ball out there. Ball into the penalty area. Liverpool looking to break now on this potential. But let's see if the final ball is getting let down there. Tell you what, Skamaka ended in here. Atalanta. Coop Miners. <coughs> ball in. Oh, he wasted it. I tell you what. Liverpool want to try and play quick, but get in at, get in at half time at this rate. Can't keep the ball to save our lives. It is. It's contagious, Tony. They're all losing possession. <laughs> That's why he's playing tonight, mate. Surrenders. You're Gasparini, you're going inside. If it's still one and a half time, you're going into them players, the Atalanta team, and going, right, these are there for the taking. You can get the tie over over and done in the first leg. If we play another 45 minutes like this, the likes of Luckman and obviously their quality off the bench. Again, what are we doing? There's been a minute added on here, and they're in here. Coop Miners needs to be scored and what a save by Kelleher. Needs to be scored and that Coop Miners. But Kelleher bails Liverpool out again. Where's Costas? Is he still in the changing room? Yeah, it's poor. Good save by Kelleher, but I tell you what, if that was one of the strikers for Atalanta, it would have been game over there. Where is Costas? Costas is about 20 yards. Fortunate enough, and that's half time near Liverpool chat. What have, I, what have we just watched? What? Half time, thank you. Thank you that it's the only one nil. Chat. I need you to help here because what have we just watched? It's ridiculous. Like Tony, I don't know. As Tony said, maybe potentially underestimating the opponent. It is. It's I think is. I said this a couple of weeks ago. Do Liverpool end up with just a league cup at the end of the season? Um, I didn't like the 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 fact that clock come out this week. And saying, obviously, no one anticipated us be, to be in the position we are. Yes and no. We are Liverpool Football Club. We've got some of the best players I've ever seen in my lifetime play for Liverpool Football Club. And we're just wasting them this season. Like, the club expect us to finish 10th or 6th or 7th or whatever we did last season. No. The expe expectation, really, for Liverpool for every season, regardless of um, any manager or whatever, especially given the quality we've got in this team, should be to win the league. Not Klopp going, oh, I'm surprised where we are. It's like, okay. Um, Ricky, I don't even know. Um, big up there, La. Uh, big up, Mark. Um, all right, Ricky, how are we, Panov? Um, yeah, it's a disappointing start, really. Big up. Um, disappointing, very disappointing star from Liverpool. But uh, we, we certainly, thankfully, Liverpool have got a lot of changes potentially in that second half. That we, you look at the bench for anyone that's just tuning in. Thankfully, it's only one nil to Liverpool because that 
on another night could have been about 2 3 nil, which is mad. Um, in terms of bench for Liverpool, second half, um, Trent, Pachetic, Bobby Clark, um, Connor Bradley, Lucho Diaz, Diogo Jota, um, Gravenberg, uh, Andy Robinson, um, Salah, and Dominic Sabuzlai. Uh, the, the main substitution that probably would all scream at Jürgen to make in the half time would be bring Andy Robinson on down that left hand side. Um, either that or bring Trent on. And then put Gomez back to left back and obviously playing that left side at centre half and then putting Trent into that six, which would be interesting. Obviously, Gomez is playing down that right hand channel, playing that inverted role. So it's just it's we were all absolutely all over the gaff, really. It was disappointing. Um we got there, Andrew. Andrew saying I think Klopp made bad choices of the team selection. It's gonna be interesting, mate. I'm pretty sure on a hundred percent. I think I always put our mortgage on it or whatever. But, um, I think Costas, that is up there with a... Uh, remember that Dejan Lovren performance where Klopp just hooked them off? It was after about 20, 30 minutes anyway. Like, it's a shade of a Lovren performance here from Costas to Mikas. Um, But in terms of it, Endo, Mr. Reliable for Liverpool this season. It feels like Endo's been... Like, the way he's playing, it's like he's been missing for about five months. And he's just come back into full fitness. But uh, when you've got Endo making mistakes that you haven't really seen him make this season. Um, McAllister, I think Curtis Jones has done very well for Liverpool. Well, it's difficult when he's coming into an underperforming side. I think Cody Gakpo, he's had numerous chances tonight where he's had, I think there was about two or three chances tonight where Gakpo has got on the ball. And I love Gapo. He is no me chat if you're a regular on the channel. But there's been so many opportunities when Gakpo needed to play that killer ball through the middle. I think even at 0-0, first 20 minutes, Darwin Nunes is found by a, an amazing ball by Curtis Jones, straight straight through the heart of that Atalanta defence. Jones took them all out, the defenders. All Nunes has to do is skip past. He's got the ball. What does he do? He rushes. And shoots it wide anyway. But what he should have done, I know it's a, it's easy for me to say that. But I think every Liverpool fan, even Nunes or Klopp, would have said, and the attacking coaches to Nunes, just take that down the left hand side. Like it, like all the top strikers in real football, take that around the goalkeeper. But Nunes decides to hit it straight away, which is the instinctive stuff for Nunes, as we've seen in Liverpool shirts. He usually gets right and spot on. But at that moment, he just, just one of them just dragged it wide. And obviously, if it wasn't for Kelly tonight, chat, I know obviously the goal, he, he, he was at fault. But I don't think he, he should have at least done better with it. But in all honesty, Kelly here for that first goal for Atalanta, he's got no protection. Costas is on the halfway line when he should be playing left back or left side of the centre half or just covering that left hand side. And there's no pressure on that Atalanta um, goal, really, which is disappointing. Um, as Carl said there, terrible start, 11, first half. Hopefully Klopp, Klopp can source it. Fingers crossed, Carl. I think we, we, we're confident, Reds, aren't we, given how well we've played this season. Um, but it's probably one of the worst showings in a first half that we've had all season, really, for me. Um, I, I put cost... I'd pull Costas at half time. I've seen uh, I've seen from any of the players this season. Yeah. Uh, shock and play from us, Panov saying. Big up there, Chloe. Uh fellas look knackered in comparison. What a shame Reds. Big up there, Chloe. How are we, lads? Yeah, not good enough, lads. Um Gakpo isn't a Liverpool player for me. It's respect your opinion there, Carl. Um I think there's a player in there, but uh, if Gapo plays like that again for the next year, I think he, he doesn't help himself. He doesn't cover himself in all the glory, really. It's disappointing. Um, lots of yell. Uh, size of Peter Krause, it's, uh, saying that, that's probably the chance. That's probably the same height that I'd be looking the, uh, against Peter Crouch. Um, <laughs> that is funny. Like, I didn't watch the pre match build up there, chat. But uh, yeah, it's just mad. Peter Crouch even standing next to a lamppost. Would make a lamppost probably look a bit small anyway. Um, <laughs> that's funny, that uh, worst left back performance since oh, bloody hell, so but don't tell 
we've had Koncheski tonight on the show and we've had uh, some flashbacks. But yeah, it's, oh, stop showing me that goal. Like Van Dijk's gone out wide. But that is all caused by Costa Simicus. Like I get Van Dijk, Ibu and then Gomez. They've all shifted. They've all shifted and had to shift across the pitch, really. And they've done that. And then it's just so disjointed at the back. Like, the, the it's just so poor. And then we're going to have a look, look at the chances Liverpool have had. Uh, apart from Kelly as well. Uh, big up there, Kamer. Kelly has two world-class saves and then a stinker. Costas needs a new club. Virgil van Dijk doesn't uh, like him next to him as well. It's like when it was a Kelly. Uh, big up there, Kamer. Hope you had a good week, mate. And thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, it was a Kelly. Kara didn't like playing with it. Who was it? So Arbeloa, remember that? Like he, he's nearly scrapped with Arbeloa. I'm pretty sure we've seen in countless interviews, Cara uh, when he spoke about playing with Arbeloa that he had to like rag him and like put him into position as well. And one of them, but yeah, it's, it's poor, mate, isn't it? Poor, as you say there, two world class saves from Kelleher. Sometimes you can't do everything. A bit like when we've watched Allison between the sticks as well. There's only certain times where goalkeepers will make mistakes, but. Yeah, as he said there, I mean, it could have easier been about 2 3 nil if it wasn't for Keller in that first half. And, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to entertain. I'm not even going to look on social media. Uh, I know it, it was a mistake for Keller, but how many times has he saved us this season? I think the blame should be solely on, obviously, cost us the Vickers for that goal anyway. I said we we're going to concede first. You could see it coming now. I'm going to say that I've said a few times this season. Hopefully, we are better second half. Kind of, yeah, it's, I just wish we weren't like this, mate. I, I think all of us, like, it's poor. Like, that just, to me, shows, and everyone, well, quite like so, and even if Liverpool do win the league, absolutely amazing, more than amazing, stupendous um, for Liverpool. But at the elite level, you can't be, like, starting games like this, and, like, it's disappointing, mate. It is. Um, big up there, Eamon. Hope you had a good weekend, mate. And uh, yeah, we are, we are not finding space. A poor first half, 100%, mate. Big up, Niall. Now, if you're free later, mate, for the post match, I'd love to get you on. But uh, no worries. Hope you had a good week as well, mate. For anyone just tuning in, Chloe as well. All of you have had a good week. Um, it's crouchy on a hit. Yeah, I was going to say, Panov. Yeah, he looks and look about 10 foot. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I do love Crouchy. If you haven't seen his podcast, go and check them out on YouTube anyway. The Peter, the Peter, the Peter Crouch podcast. I think he does one with his uh, with his missus as well now, which is just very entertaining anyway. Go and check that out on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's disappointing. I go 3 1. So hopefully you're right, mate. But it's going to have to be some performance, not second half, which is. And everyone would be going, oh, I didn't look on Twitter because it's probably, <laughs> oh, hell has probably broke loose anyway on Twitter. Um, but we, we we need a performance second half. I'm pretty sure we will get that. Um, Elliot Jones, best players. Mac and Endo look tired. It's the thing, hey, Mac. I think we spoke to you this season when, we, when you did jump on, mate. And we spoke about on the channel for this season. It's burnout. The one thing in a Jürgen Klopp does to players is absolutely destroy players physically. Like, look at Fabinho. I think we knocked off five years of his playing career by him just playing in that six, which is disappointing. Like, look at Fabinho in the Saudi League now. Like, he's he looks about 40 when he's playing. Um, and obviously, the year in which he did have the poor season, but it just goes to show, like, we, are, we will hopefully not run Endo and McAllister into a brick wall this season. Because God forbid if if um if Endo or McAllister did get injured in the next couple of weeks. Sorry that I've put that in the atmosphere then anyway, chapel. Hopefully it doesn't touch wood doesn't happen. Um never thought everything's going to draw this with in a way it's just a typical clock thing to do. It is K-Mac. We it's Liverpool football club we do it the hard way. But that's not me making an excuse. I'm fuming like all of you. Like this game I knew it wasn't going to be easy because Atalanta are a very good side and I've seen them a couple of times this season uh, when they've been on telly, on, on TNT. And I, I tell you now, Chas, if you're watching or if you just dip off for the sec <laughs> second half, have a look out for how much uh, 
Luckman has improved. It, it's not the Luckman that used to play for Everton or a Fulham even or whatnot. Was it Fulham that used to play for? I think it was. But he's revolutionised his game since he's come into the city with Atalanta. Highly talented player. Now he's improved massively. Obviously winning the uh, the African Cup of Nations. Um, oh, no, he didn't. It was uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah, Ivory Coast, sorry. Obviously uh, playing for Nigeria in the final as well. Um, obviously, Ivory Coast winning the, uh, the African Cup of Nations. But, uh, yeah... Uh, not too bad, so there you go. Yeah, I'd probably be up to his sock. <laughs> yeah, he's a big lad, Peter. Um, it was so it comes to a rescue, and guess even still came back the way Salah was moving against Man United in those both games. A, a, a bit of me is like not happy to see him not play, but like, even still, even he needs a rest as well. Like, we need to give him a rest. Yeah, we can see like this. <laughs> Yeah, game mark. It's, it's disappointing, Reds. Disappointing, Reds. We yeah, have fingers crossed Liverpool can get this over the line. Let's have a little look at the um, scores on the doors in your Europa League games. So, obviously, we've got Roma winning in the first leg away from home. Um, goal from Juluca uh, Mancini. Obviously, the centered half. Obviously, a big goal for them away from home at the San Siro. So, they're winning. Benfica are winning. Leverkusen versus West Ham. Still nil nil. Wow. Just looking at that Leverkusen West Ham game. Um, West Ham have only had 34% possession. They've had one shot in the whole game, West Ham, and one shot on target. Get on this. Anticipated. Leverkusen have had 17 shots, five shots on target as well. So it sounds like uh, Fabianski might be having an absolute worldy of a first half performance in Germany. Obviously, our game, we're getting beat 1 0. Typical uh, for the Olympia. Bloody hell. Europa League. Um, hang on. Did Europa League have playoffs for the quarters? Really? Oh, no. The, the quarterfinal games, Olympiacos were winning 3-0 against Fenerbahce, but they let them score two goals against them. That's poor, that by uh, Olympiacos. Obviously, Tadic. And uh, who's that? I scored their second. Uh, Ufran Kanecevic. Kanecevic, the Turkish midfielder, anyway. So they bottled that. Aston Villa were winning 1-0. In their game in the first leg against Leo, it's a good performance from them. Uh, Fiorentina drew against Victoria Pulsen, and we are underway for the second half here. That's we are back underway for the second half here, Reds. Come on, Liverpool. Get your act together. Yeah, we have got good subs. 100% there, Storm. Ball forward. Yeah, so I think Liverpool have made a couple of changes there, Chas. As you have said. Yeah, so for substitution to Liverpool. So we brought on the buzz live for Jones. Salah on for Elliot and Robbo for Costas. Thank you, Jürgen. Yeah. So, the subs that were done were the usual. I think we called it at half-time, didn't we? We called the Costas one anyway. But uh, I think Elliot would be disappointed, but I see Big Mo coming on second half. Yeah, Salah's on K-Mac, 100%, mate. Yeah, free changes, chat, if you're just tuning in. Yeah, I don't get it, K-Mac. I feel disappointed for Elliot there, because I think... I get we're bringing on Salah, but Salah needs to perform when he comes on tonight here. Because as you said there, K-Mac, he's probably one of our brighter players. That's going to be a foul, no, ref. Cup miners, poor ball there. Come on, Liverpool, forwards. Tell you what, you were in again. 
And again, it's always when Liverpool are on that transition from getting that ball into the middle of the park, trying to play that through ball, slacking that final ball. Yeah, big up there, Geordie. How are you, the lads? How are you? Big game for your lot this weekend, mate, against Tottenham. Hope you had a good week, lad. McAllister now down the right. That was a very good ball there, but was deemed to be offside. Tell you what, whatever happens, LeBron, hopefully we progress into the semis, but certainly for me, this referee needs to be in with a shout with managing the semi-finals and potentially final. Very good ref. Get him in the Premier League, I say. Yeah, Jordy saying there it was a poor, poor goal made from from our perspective, wasn't it? But Liverpool just really need to step up the intensity now, step up the quality. Ball over the top there. Go on, Nunes. Tell you what, great goalkeeper there. Quickly off his line. Much better by Virgil. Dominic Zabuzlai. Is that a shot? It's going to be a cornet. Much better by Liverpool. Much more direct. It's exactly what the substitutions have been brought on for. Come on, Zom. Let's get a little cheeky assist here. And we're taking the cornet. Behave, Lionel. That's on the D. Ball in now. Deep ball from Subozai to Robbo. Robbo, ball in. It's gone all the way to Dominic Subozai again. Ball in again for the third time. Let's see what that shows. Oh, behave, shout and shoot to Gomez. Jürgen's warned you, and you've probably all been warned by your, your fellow fans next to you as well. Pack it in, man. When Gomez scores, he'll score. Does me heading. Yeah, Jordi, you're watching that game, mate. We were going through the stats at half time, really. Oh, Gomez, what are you doing, lads? Got away with that, Joey. Says a lot when you've got Mr. Reliable Joe Gomez for us this season making mistakes. We're not going to go long, are we again here? Why have we got Dominic Sabuzlai there picking up the ball? This goes to show how well Atalanta does not allow in Liverpool to force us to go long on every single attack. Sell it. Find McAllister now. Just need to get Macker on the ball a bit more. It's poor by McAllister. That will give and go there by Gomez. Lovely ball to find Nunes. Oh, that's still in. Still in there, referee. Kept in, just. Come on, Ebu, lad. Hendo, Andy Dobbo. Robbo, ball in. Little dummy there from Robbo. It'll be a corner now for Liverpool. Come on, Reds. Someone get on the end of this. It's going to be Andy Robbo, outward swing it. Come on, Verge. Get your head on this one. Mm. I think he will come on in the next 10 minutes, Joe. Jota. Ball in, Robbo. Oh. Oh, was Virgil not got his head on that? Well, he did. Just lacked the, the direction, really. Oh, yes. Good defending by Atalanta. I think it was the centre half. Yeah, Shkamaka. I think he was just a uh, misjudged the flight of the ball there. Big Virgil. 
So you can, you want it this minute, Paul. Oh, get up, Gakpo. Get up, lads. Not a foul. See what doing so well, those balls into the channels there from Atalanta. It's absolutely skimmed Virgil there. Endo calm it, lads. Take a touch. That's better, Endo. I'll tell you what, is that a handball? So we're just on the edge of the penalty area. Let's have a little look. I tell you what, is that in the penalty area? No, just about. Oh, that's a good call by the referee. Sadly for Liverpool, it's unlucky there by Endo. No fault of his own. It's just one of them. Hang on, getting checked by VAR, but yeah, no, no penalty. Yeah. Dangerous opportunity here for Atalanta in front of their away fans. Coop Miners and Palisic. Pasalic. Come on, Red, sort this out, man. Concentration levels here. Coop Miners straight at Kelly. That's better. Liverpool on the counter-attack now. Pick the right ball, Liverpool. Oh, say that, and we don't do it, man. The ball was probably... It looked like Gomez was running in quicksand there. I would have thought there was a bit of an explosive power to him in that rumble. I suppose he's played so much football this season. Akpo, Endo, take your time, Endo. Good ball to find then. Darwin Nunes. He's done well there, Nunes. Cody Gakpo, Sale. Sale. Oh. First time in weeks Liverpool have got that ball inside the penalty area. And Gakpo done exactly what Nunes should have done against United and just slid, slid it across the six yard box to find Sale. I'm done. Come on, Liverpool. Big up, Mark. Don't be well, mate. God, oh, just couldn't fall into the back of the net. So you what. Musso. So you what. Let's have a little look at this replay. Is it Virgil getting on the end of it? I think he just hit his shoulder. Just didn't get quite the right execution on that. A comfortable save by the Argentinian tonight, Salah before. It's surely got me in offside position. Well done, Lionel. He's off. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking he's looking okay, mate. Cody Gakpo. He's done well here, Cody. Nunes, oh, get Jotter on, much better by Cody Gakpo, but again Nunes, there's no consistency at all with his finishing, so oh, get Jotter on, Andy Robbo's changed this game, like, I suppose anyone coming on down that left-hand channel would have improved that performance from Costas. It's just poor, Mark. It is poor. Come on, someone out Gomez here. He needs, a, he needs an outlet. That's better. Release it, Cody. Good advantage by the referee. Phenomenal advantage. What do Liverpool do on that? We play it backwards. 
Liverpool still got possession though. Gakpo. Release the ball. Gomez. Do not sell shoot. Saleh. Ball in. Nunes. Straight into the hands of Musso. In the Atalanta goal. Yeah, Diaz on. I'm guessing. The thing is, probably will be for Gakpo. But Gakpo's started playing much better in the last five minutes, but probably a bit too late. A bit late now. Surprised it's not a double substitution, really. Bringing Jota on. He needs to chat. He needs to be hitting a target there. Go on. Unlucky Cozy. Nunes off. There we go. Not to be... I was going to say, these Klopp's brings keeping Gakpo on. Looks like Diaz will be coming on for the Nunes. We should have done years ago. Yeah, fake go. Unlucky there, Debo. I don't know why the players are complaining. It was the right decision. Well, they left it. Well, then, Nunes. Come on, Lucho. Come on, Neds. Not the best of nights from Nunes, but I think it just goes to show the whole overall Liverpool performance hasn't been so great. And even that ball to Gomez put him under so much pressure there. He's gone out for a throwing. When you get in those channels, Atalanta. Ball into the penalty here. It's Kamaka. 2 0. Far too easy. It's a phenomenal ball down the right hand channel. And Skamaka is unmarked. Absolutely horrendous play by Liverpool. And he deserved to be 2 0 down. Shocking. Absolutely abysmal defending by Liverpool. I'll tell you what. Who's playing him on there? Yeah, that first initial ball is on side. He's on. Yeah, it's not going to be getting disallowed. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal ball into the penalty area. And the Liverpool centre-halves. Absolutely ridiculous. Fair play to Atalanta, chat. Absolutely Deserve this. We deserve everything we've had tonight. Not good enough. Not good enough. Come on, Liverpool. Wake up, will you? Gomez. Thing is, we've got to be careful we don't get done in behind on the counter now. Tell you what, another goal for Atalanta. And this is us getting knocked out of the Europa League. Yeah, there was miles on Mark. I don't know what the commentary were I'm complaining about. This is all on Klopp's head, this really. All Klopp's doing. So six changes for Liverpool tonight. But the, the back vibe, the back line is the back line, apart from Costa Simicus. 
And even it, we got we got N got we got Sir Bosley on, we've got McAllister on. They're in again. Offside on that occasion. It's poor. But yeah, I don't even get why yeah, it was miles on. Simple goal for Skamaka. Here's a joke, mate, but we deserve everything we've got here tonight. Villa 2 0 up as well. Enzo. Wait, Diaz, sorry. Fortifying Gomez. We're just. Even Salah when he's come on here, chat. I don't think he's even touched the ball. Apart from that shot he had sat five, ten minutes ago. I'm at the minute now, chat. Do we bring Jota on? Because I don't want him coming on and then getting re-injured. Why risk him when we're playing this bad? Lucho Diaz. No. Poor again. Gasparini's done the job on Jürgen Klopp here tonight. Well and truly done the job like he did a couple of years ago in the COVID season. No, it won't do, Mark, even the substitution. Miss. The kettle out here. So much space and time. Should be three now. Should be tie over. Should be an evidentiary to Liverpool as well. Coop minus three in the penalty. Here. Go on, just let him in. Shocking. Atalanta could have, could be, should be at least three, four, five nil up in this tie. Ball out now. Diaz. Ball in. To find Sir Buzzley. Good defendant. Robbo. Ball in. Salah brought... Well, of course he brought her down. Needs a bit of support here. Gomez, he's got no support down this right-hand side. It's literally him uh, against three Atalanta defenders. No one shown for Liverpool tonight. Looking to, to want the ball. The one player that was, we brought him off, Elliot. At this moment in time, looks like Liverpool will be uh, having an open top bus parade for the League Cup. The League Cup and, of course, Jürgen Klopp, but... Gomez... Salah now. You're just asking too much there, Salah. You're not expecting McAllister. It's got to the point now, Chas. Why is McAllister still on the pitch? I don't want him to get injured. Because if he gets injured, that's our season done. Honestly done. If McAllister gets injured. He's that important to this Liverpool side. Hey, man, Endo, really. Better suppose, like, come on, down the right hand side. I mean, a quick throw in for Liverpool. Down the right. Come on, Liverpool, get a goal at least. 66 minutes on the clock here, chat. 25. 25 minutes left in this. Left done well to get out the way, yeah. Liverpool down the left hand channel. Cody Gakpo now, ball in. It's a poor ball by Cody again. Gomez now, 
Do not shout, shoot. Salah looks like he's in an offside position. That is so poor, Salah. <sighs> Shocking. Jürgen can look complex as much as he wants. Poor team selection to start off this game as well. Yeah, it is, Chow. Well, fair play to Atalanta. They come to Anfield and they've given us an absolute hiding. John. Oh, we're making Skamaka look like prime Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, mate. Couldn't do nothing in a West Ham shirt. And we scored five goals in seven games in this competition, but come on. Darun. Poor ball to find Cody Gakpo. Even Salah, that ball there. Just too slow tonight on the ball when we do get it, possession-wise. Only two shots on target for Liverpool tonight at home. Atalanta have had, in comparison, five shots on target. Again. He's done well there, Skamaka. He's done very well. He's played a lovely ball down the right-hand channel. It's like we're playing in first gear. We have done since minute one in this game. But this tie is here for Atalanta in this first leg to be won and over and done with. Diaz, we've got Diaz playing so deep here. Someone give him some support, will you? Literally, uh, whether it's one or same Liverpool players tonight, you pick up the ball and no one is shown for it. No one wants to get the ball off a, a teammate and, and look to try and create anything, really. Which is very unlike us. Even that ball there to Salah. And Skamak is just asking his teammates just to go a bit more higher up the pitch. Diaz off the left flank. Saleh gets dispossessed. Gomez. Says a lot when Gomez is trying to shoot from there anyway. Unlucky, Joey. Unlucky, lads. But there, Salah, getting the ball there. It dispossessed on panels here. Yeah. Well, let's not forget the Luton game as well, though, Chat. I know we won that game. But for certain minutes within that game that you were getting beat. Come on, Liverpool. 71 minutes on the clock. Let's do the business.
Tell you what, lovely play by Atalanta here. McCallus just won that. Dispossessed again, Atalanta. Wow. Good play by Atalanta down this right-hand channel. Zappa Costa got the freedom of Anfield at the minute. Ah, it's, it's, it's disappointing. It is K-Mac, it is, mate, it is. We do, mate. It's going to be a difficult game. I don't know why the crowd's having a go. The ref, refs have an absolutely exceptional game here tonight. It's all on Liverpool. Jotters looks like he's coming on. Trotter's coming on. <laughs> Aye, Jay, that's the way we're playing, mate. It's disastrous. Poor, mate. But I'm not even going to have this excuse. It, it, I'd be very disappointed if it was the case that Liverpool have just said, yeah, let's just get rid of this competition. But I'd be poor. It's another trophy, mate. End of the day, regardless, I know it's not the Champions League against the competition we don't want to be. Well, can Liverpool turn this around with 17 minutes to go? We can, given how well we played this season, but... Yeah, Jay. So you what? Skamaka breaking into the penalty area. Come good defender by Canarsi there. But on every attack, Atalanta do have the breaking with real pace and real quality, really. Ball forward now, gone a bit more long. Yeah, I don't know if you did see Panov, the, the interview Klopp did do. In the build up to the obviously the VT. Oh yeah, disappointing, miss. Disappointing. Uh we are Jay. Lucky it's only two now. Yeah. True game, man. True, true. Just the whole game just stinks tonight, mate, for from all of us really, in terms of Liverpool deserve for really to be at least three, four nil down in this game. Joss are coming on. Well done, Endo. Not the best game tonight, but say you what, Endo's been phenomenal so far for us this season. He needs a rest. Jota coming on now. Let's hope that he hasn't been rushed back too quick. Jota straight in, and he's has he won a penalty? He's given outside the penalty area, but an instant impact from Jota straight into the game. Just outside. Yeah, I think the referee's got that right. Yeah, contact is outside. But that's something that we've not had all game. Someone driving down the byline. Majeri coming on. Well, getting a yellow card there. Black post still on K-Mac. Obviously, we've just tuned in. Jotters has been brought on for Endo. Come on, Reds. Come on, Liverpool. Free kick just outside the penalty area. We're close to the byline. Favours a left foot to, to whip this in. Come on, Liverpool. 14 minutes left to go on original time. So, slide ball in. Poor delivery. 
Gomez. Oh, Gomez shooting from 30 yards. You're just not going to be scored in that, Joey. Doesn't help when the cops shout and shoot. That wasn't the option. Was not the option. <laughs> there, this button. It wouldn't be, Jake. It, it, it honestly wouldn't, Jake. I think even if you were in our position, we were in all competitions at the start of the season. It's not good enough. Considering the quality Liverpool have in this squad, regardless of whatever's happened, obviously, we've, obviously we know Jürgen's going, but it's unacceptable, really. Diaz, breaking forwards. Found Jota. Too much of it there. Too much power on that through ball there. Just a waste on that counter-attack as well. All right. It's just been a, a just a wasted season. Liverpool just ends up with the League Cup as well. I had my piece last season on on Jurgen Klopp. I felt I personally would have given it another year with Jurgen, and then if this year did transpire to be what it was last year, in terms of just awful fifth, sixth place, Robbo and Robbo ball in Salah one Liverpool. Oh, it's offside. Is he off? The, the flag has gone up. It looks like he was in an offside position. Please don't be off. I'll tell you what, if Salah's off in that position on the initial... Lovely, lovely ball by Diaz to find Robbo. Yeah, and he's off. That's poor by Salah. Such a poor, poor, poor play by... Salah, he's looking across the line there, Salah, as well. He should not be offside. It's getting checked. It's easy. For me, he looked off. It's offside, yeah. It's poor by Salah. So poor. Should never in a million years be offside in that position. What a play. That Lovely play was. It's gonna be it. Yeah, it's handball. It's handball. You can't be complaining about that. It's handball. Yes, it's unlucky. Oh, behave, Cooper, Cooper Miners. Don't be. Yeah, Ebu's added that onto his arm there. Yeah, it's unlucky, but it's one of them. It's poor. Really poor. Ten minutes left in this game, chat. Come on, Liverpool. We need at least a goal. Because it's not... If you've not seen this Atalanta side at home. So good. So good at home. Ball in. Ball to the back stick. Oh, Skamaka's missed. Nearly a Skamaka hat trick there. We're getting absolutely terrorised by Skamaka tonight. Should have scored. Should have been 3 0. And yet again, I don't get that. Liverpool have had possession and we just absolutely full on Sam Allardyce that up the middle of the pitch. Won nine of the last ten Atalanta at home in Bergamo, their home ground. Madness. <laughs> yeah. For, for all the teams in Europe, Jake. Obviously, two goals for Bayer by Munich this week as well. Obviously, three goals away for Man City. But yeah, ten minutes left here, but we'd have to it's gonna have to be a miracle. For Liverpool to come back into this game. That's a great game, Mark. That's a great, mate. 
Do we bring on Trent? Well, this is embarrassing. Jota, he's won that ball. Yeah, he's lost it, but he's recovered that ball. Got it again. And then there's no movement at all. Oh, given away by Sabozlai. Skamake. To Ketelare. He's in here. Ah, oh, no. We deserve to be getting slapped 3-0 tonight. Wow, wow, wow. That's tie over for me. Tie over. Fair play, Atalanta. Absolutely at sixes and sevens at the back here, Liverpool. Gasparini is tactically absolutely battered Jürgen Klopp here tonight. Jürgen, you can smile all you want, lad. You can smile all you want. It's poor. Skamaka, ball through. Yeah, he's on side. Virgil, side on, is playing on. The Atalanta forwards and Pasalicic, he's not missing that. So poor chat. The walking. The Liverpool players are walking there. Just can't be asked to track back there. Fair play, Atalanta. Fully deserve. Deserve it. Robbo. I hope we not scored there. Robbo's Dean in and just, just slides. Skamak it here now. Coop Miners. This is a fourth goal in this for Atalanta. Salah. Forgot Salah was even on the pitch. But we have been absolutely done. Tactically. Fair play to Atalanta. Yes, we've been shocking. Diaz. Good effort by Diaz. Yet again, no one on that rebound there in the penalty area. Is what it is. Is what it is. Oh, sh nice one, Jake. <laughs> there we go. But you know. Three nil. There we go. So that just sums up tonight. Sloppy ball down that left hand side. But uh, chat, are we saying has the like not having like the flags here tonight impact for me? I'd obviously, chat if anyone's if anyone's going as well, like or well, has been tonight. We'll speak on the post match, but yeah, the, the atmosphere sounds absolutely shocking tonight. Five minutes on the clock and uh, Liverpool fans leaving. It is K-Mac, I agree, mate. Poor team selection. Let's have a little look on scores in the doors. Yeah, by Leverkusen. Nice one, Jay. They're winning 1-0. Probably seen the Liverpool score a win, so yeah, we should win that. Because Liverpool should be winning this competition with our eyes closed. I'm sorry, the, the, the quality left in this competition. But fair play to Atalanta. 
But yeah, Benfica 2 1. Ace, Ace Milan still getting beat 1 0. So Grugia winning 1 0 in Europa League Conference. Dominic Sabuz like, I, I, I'd I want to know. I want someone to tell me what Dominic Sabuz like offers this Liverpool team. Because the more times I see this fella play for Liverpool this season, are we misusing him in tactically in terms of trying to get the best out of him? I, not just, even the subs. The, the, apart from Robinson coming on, Robbo. He slightly improved it down that left-hand channel. But even Salah tonight. Done nothing since he's come on. Three else. Down the left. Gakpo ball in. Oh. Oh, Salah. Three points to Wigan there. 20 yards over the bar there. Yeah, panel. It's, it's it's it. Yeah, Van Dijk playing him on on the fair goal there. I knew he was on straight away. But yeah, it's a uh, true panel. But that's probably it's all right. Those fans may be preempting this, like in terms of saying the competition it should be. It should be. We've got the most coefficient champ, like European points in 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 this competition. But fair play to Atalanta. Fair play. They're away fans to be buzzing. 3 0 away from home. And uh, Liverpool have just made this so much more difficult than it needed to be. Three out of the minutes, yeah. No. I'm seeing this. Ball in. Yeah. Three minutes here. Yeah, it's true, K Mac. 100%, mate. But that is, Jay. 100%, lads. But even still, Jay, I, I hope for all of our sake, for Liverpool perspective, I know you're a gunner, mate, in terms of an Arsenal fan. But yeah, it's just a dangerous game to play, Chas. Liverpool going, oh, putting all of our eggs in, in one basket, really, in the Premier League. Yeah, three minutes added on here. Diaz. Play him on the overlap. So, boss, like, <clears throat> straight at Musa. Yeah. yeah, I think if the result happens away, we could bring it back away, and I don't think so. Yeah, they're, they're phenomenal, Storm, if you've not seen an Atlantic chat. It's, it's probably one of the, it will be if we were to overturn this in the second leg. Our best performance of the season. Jota says everything about our game there. Jota's missing from five yards. Out. Unlucky Diogo. Unlucky Jota. Should have scored, but can't blame him. Literally the only Liverpool player in the penalty area there. When you're getting beat 3 0, Jota's the only one there getting in the six yard box. But, uh, yeah, chat. Massive thank you as well, everyone. I know the result's not the best, but Liverpool deserve everything we've had tonight. We'll be having a post-match reaction show. Um, it's so sweet. <laughs> Diaz. Intercept. That's a very good play there by Coopermeyers. Coopermeyers. Is he? <laughs> yeah, lucky. Look. Yeah, Liverpool, lucky it's only been three goals tonight. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I don't want to get into the notion, and I'll say this on my post match as well. Everyone will be like, oh, it's the only Europa League when we're getting B3 now. I get that, but 
with Liverpool playing in the five-a-side tournament, I'd want us to win it. But I don't want anyone trying to come out with positives after this poor performance. Like, because this performance could easily, very easily creep into our Premier League campaign. It did over the last two weeks against United. One of those results was in the Premier League. Two drop points there. Corners, Liverpool. And I... Ebu. Does anyone want to put the ball in the back of the net tonight? Last 20 seconds in this game. Ball in. So ball slides. Probably going to blaze this over the bar. To Jota. Jota inside the penalty area. Diaz. 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 What are you doing? Kelly coming out there. And that just sums it up. And that is, I think, full time. Well done, Atalanta. Thoroughly deserve that. Spalletti is absolutely mastermind. A historic victory for the Italian side away from home in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Yeah, it's crept in, to be fair, as we've been average for that of late, 100%. Disgraceful performance, Reds. Uh, we'll be back in about 20 minutes for an instant post-match reaction show. Reds, yeah, big old AJ, big goal for Leverkusen. You've probably seen our, the, the whole, all the teams left in this competition have seen Liverpool's result and went, oh, we can win this now. But it, we've made Skamaka look like Cristiano Ronaldo tonight, but it is what it is. But Reds, disappointing. See you on the post-match very soon as well, Reds. But a uh, massive thank you for everyone that has tuned in. Drop a like on your way out as well. Um, what time are we on? Yeah, I'll be live for the post-match reaction show in about 10 minutes. Hopefully we'll see you there, Reds, as well. But uh, not good enough from Liverpool. But needs to improve. Disappointing. But congratulations, Atalanta, as well. Fully deserved that. Liverpool are just very fortunate that it's only 3-0.